many people when they are ready to buy a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y are thinking how much their electric bill per month will go up with a Tesla new model. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. So how much your Tesla's electric bill will cost you per month depends on your location. Electricity pricing trends can impact how much your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y will add to your electric bill and those prices can vary from from by electricity company. According to Teslanomics, on average, the cost to charge a Tesla per month in the United States is around $49 per month. It also depends on how much you drive and where you live. Chris Smith, a Tesla Model 3 owner from Minneapolis, says it's three cents a mile for him and his Model 3. He says it's 10.5 cents per kilowatt hour where he lives and that's about average. US average is 10.42 cents per kilowatt hour. Tesla electric bill per month can vary a lot from state to state, just like gas prices. Hawaii is much more expensive, Nevada is a fair bit less. EPA puts the Model Y at 28 kilowatt hour per 100 miles. If you are doing 80 miles per hour on the interstate all the time, that cost goes up. But if you are in town and 55 miles per hour road, it will go down some. If you have a lead food, your electric bill will move up. And if not, it can go down. If it's cold out, it can go up. And if not, it can go down. If you have free chargers nearby where you drive your Tesla, that can go down too. And your electric bill would go down if you mostly supercharge, but the actual cost to fuel your Model Y would be higher. If you have off-peak charging deals that can cut your Tesla's electricity cost by up to a third in some places, which is really nice, most people can charge at night when they sleep which is when ACs and other electrical usage is lower. But three cents per mile is a good fair number for your Tesla's electricity bill per mile. It also depends on your driving habits. So going off average just says 12,000 miles a year, that's $360 a year or $30 a month. Not bad, right? A little bit ago I said the average is about $49 a month in the United States. Bill Davey, a Tesla driver from Arizona, says depending on time of year, the off-peak rate charges between 7.38 to 7.59 cents per kilowatt hour. I drive about 850 miles per month, says Bill in a quarter response to a question regarding how much Tesla adds to your electric bill per month. Davis says last month he had a combination of home charging, supercharging for a road trip to California, and free charging at his hotel. A total of 208 kilowatt hour was at home at a rate of 0.0738 per kilowatt hour. Total addition to his home electric bill was $15.38 per month. But if you live in Europe, your Tesla's monthly electricity bill may be way different. In the United Kingdom, if you get an EV specific tariff at around 8 pence per kilowatt hour for 4 hour overnight, but with a raised rate of 35 pence for the rest of the day and you charge a typical 20 miles a day, you will pay around 1.10 pounds a day extra, writes a Tesla owner from the United Kingdom. On a more conventional single rate tariff, it would be like 1.40 British pounds a day extra. I'm assuming mainly town driving and the light foot. If you drive your Tesla about 40 miles a day on average, that would be 1.34 British pound a day extra on the electric vehicle tariff on your monthly electricity bill or 2.24 pounds extra on the standard tariff that compares to around 3.20 pounds a day fuel for 20 miles in an efficient mid-size ICE vehicle or 6.40 pounds for 40 miles a day. So for the average driver in the United Kingdom, a Model Y might save them 750 British pounds a year in fuel or 1,700 British pounds a year for a high mileage driver. Now let's get back to the United States and look at some national averages. Like I said, your Tesla's home charge 
charging cost depends on the amount you drive and the cost of electricity in your area and the efficiency of your car. But if we rely on averages, the average cost of one kilowatt hour in the United States is about 12 cents. The average driver drives 1,500 miles per month. Teslas generally require around 25 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. So, 1,500 miles is 375 kilowatt hour, which adds about $45 to your monthly electricity bill. But this is tremendously variable. Some parts of the world have much more expensive electricity, some have cheaper. Most people charge at night and most electricity utilities have ways to get cheap rate electricity at night. On average price of gasoline in the United States in 2020 was about $2.60. Currently it's $4.20 and it changes daily. Average price of gasoline in the United States, actually average gas consumption in the United States, uh, US car in 2020 was 26 miles per gallon. So a gas car owner who drives 1,500 miles per month requires 57.7 .7 gallons of gas, which now costs about $242. Now compare that to $49 on average charge on Tesla. My electric provider is Duke Power and it sends me a notice almost every month that says I use more electricity than my efficient neighbors. So if your neighbors don't have Tesla, you can calculate the difference and get a ballpark idea of what the monthly charging cost of your Tesla is in your state. But if your neighbors have a Tesla and actually they have several Teslas, then it will be hard to make this calculation and this comparison with your neighbors. For example, if you live in a uh, town in California where some neighborhoods all drive Teslas, you can't make these calculations based on this approach. Now, if you charge your Tesla at home, remember, you will pay for it next month when your bill comes rather than paying a gas station immediately. So this is how it works, friends. When you're thinking how much does your electric bill go up with a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y or Model S uh, 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 purchase. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let me know, friends, if you own Tesla, how do you calculate how much your electric bill goes up with a Tesla purchase? I would like to know where you stay, where you live. It will be helpful if you state your state and um, uh, average price of electricity in your state and uh, the cost you're paying extra compared to a uh, gas card that you may have before or may have before or may have now. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Thanks for watching and listening and I look forward to telling you more in the next story. Have a blessed day.